to we are effing shoe wrestling but you you already know that <laughs> I am the rated R situation styles and I am primetime Brian Crazy and uh, we are here to give you a little uh, brief little news update and uh in addition to that, we're also giving you the five new, uh, and the four new entries into the Royal Rumble. Me and Brian will be going down the card, uh, announcing all the names who already entered, including the new four. So I'll let Brian take the uh, Brian take the helm on this. Hey guys, uh, we did a video a couple days ago. We announced the first 21 picks. Uh, four more names were added to the list. So just in case if you guys have not seen that other video, we are going to run down all 25 announced names for the Royal Rumble, and we're going to bring you some other news. Uh, so first things first, the first name announced uh, for the Rumble is Alberto Del Rio. CM Punk. Cody Rhodes. Drew. No, uh, Daniel Bryan. Da Daniel Bryan. Darren Young. D.H. Smith. David Otuna. <laughs> now... He's not albacore, guys, and he's definitely in vegetable oil. Yes, because he's always oiled. Uh, we got Husky Harris. We got John Cena. We have the Prince of Parkour, John Morrison. We have the World's Strongest Man, Mark Henry. We have Mr. Perfect Jr., Michael McGillicuddy. We have Primo, which I don't even know why they keep the guy around. Yeah. Probably treat him like crap to like what they did to Matt Hardy. And yeah, because Carlito bounced, right? Yeah, Carlito is actually over in Lucha Libre USA wrestling. And so is uh, Sugar Shane Helms, the Hurricane. Exactly. Uh, we got my boy R Truth. Then we got Ray Mysterio. We have the Human Jar Mayonnaise Sheamus. We have the Million Dollar Kid himself, Ted DiBiase Jr. Tyson Kid. That little shit. Uh, then we have William Regal. Yoshi Tatsu and the Long Island Ice T Zack Ryder. And uh, for the new four picks, we have Wade Barrett, Ezekiel Jackson, the South African sensation Justin Gabriel, and uh, the dumbass calling himself on wrong. The one man rock band. The one man rock band. He's slated up. So uh, those are the new. We are now up to 25 Royal Rumble entrants. Uh, so, you know, we got 15 more spots open. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be with the next couple of weeks. We're going to have uh, qualifying uh, matches and stuff like that. Little mini battle royals, pre war Rumble battle royal like they normally do uh, on Raw and SmackDowns for like the last two spots. Uh, also, there is a possibility, I think we read. Yes, there's a uh, possibility in the following name that we're about to announce. Um, she is reportedly I don't kind of just threw it right there, right there, sorry about that. But uh she she has reportedly been announced um for the Hall of Fame and she has been in talks with WWE about it. J C you wanna take the home on this one? Uh, a lot of you might have might remember her as uh as Sunny from the Body Donnas from back in the nineties. Uh her her little stint in W C W she had uh, she came back at the uh, Battle Royal that they had at WrestleMania a couple of years, about, uh, I think it was last year or the year before. She had a stint in ECW. Uh, ECW as well, which I think she was just known as uh, uh, Amber Lynn or Tammy Lynn Stitch or what she called her. I don't know what, they, I don't remember what they called her in ECW. I think she was just going by her original name, wasn't she? Yes. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll have to check that out, guys. Also, uh, Awesome Kong is not going to be uh, allowed to use anything around the terms of awesome or amazing. Uh, when she left TNA, she had until December 3rd of last year to uh, take the claim of the name, and they warned her several times, and she never thought, followed through with that, so she uh, lost the rights to the name. Kind of wondering what they're going to call her. Um, so we'll have to see and find out. And I think, Brian, you want to take the last little bit? Yeah, a uh, huge piece of information coming out of India. Uh, for any of you guys who have known, the great Kali, former World's Heavyweight Champion, has been uh, in India shooting a television show. Now, most of you guys are like, okay, and your point being, well, the great Kali was doing an autograph signing, and uh, his bodyguard became very physical with the crowd. 
He ended up uh, pushing one person. He ended up uh, attacking another with uh, fists and kicks. And then he ended up uh, opening up on the crowd with a gun. He ended up shooting three people and seriously injuring them. And uh, I guess current word is that they are not going to be pressing any charges over this incident, which... Uh, I think they should. I think they should sue the bodyguard and sue the great colleague um, over this, this situation. I mean, I, depending on who hired the bodyguard. Was the bodyguard hired by the television network? Was he directly contracted by Kali? I think that's where the fault would lie. If he's somebody that was just paired with Kali from the television network, it's not really Kali's fault that this guy went fucking ape shit. He needs, to, you know, this needs to be addressed. If this happened here in the States, or if it happened anywhere within the civilized world, you know, Great Britain, the States, Canada, South America, anywhere in Asia, we're talking Europe, you know, anywhere where law and order is, you know, paramount and there's a written law in the books that is abided by, uh, this would be handled. Uh, just by having this just ignored is just, uh, you know, simply a call for. And I think uh, for right now, if WWE was thinking about bringing Kali back, I don't think they should no. after this incident. Um, it just goes to show you how reckless one can be. I mean, there's no reason. I can understand if the crowd was getting a little hostile, maybe take the gun out and wave it around. You know, to let them know that, you know, we're not joking around, but for him to physically actually open fire into an open Well, remember, crowd. Kali did not open fire, and Kali did not attack anybody. So depending on, like like we said, who that bodyguard was hired by, if he was directly contracted by the great Kali, and he chose this man to be under his employment, then he is responsible for exactly. his actions. And if that being so, JC is right. The former World's Heavyweight Champion needs to be kept off television. Exactly, person. Exactly right. So you know, uh, you know, it's just it just goes to show you that it's still it's unprofessional. Okay. Second of all, when you have something along the lines of as an autograph signing, you have proper you have proper security, you have proper barricades set. So it's individually one Any signing I've ever, time. ever been to, there's barricades set up, there's security, there's people in lines, exactly. it's orderly, one in, one out, they don't let more than one or maybe two people near the superstar at a time unless you've got small children, yeah. or even maybe a small entourage, but you know, there's multiple security, it's, it's very tight, it's uh, an intimate environment for the couple seconds that you do get to interact, and it sounds like how this was run, this was just a mob scene that... Uh, and uh, causing the injury of three people, now, innocent people. And he's under contract to WWE. I wonder how, what their Does policy he is with react to this. Yeah, what's their policy with uh, him doing an independent signing? I well, I mean, if even if if Kali wasn't, if uh, even no, three people were shot. Three people were three shot. Three people were shot. So the security guard, regardless of what who he was hired That's by, that's attempted murder. That's attempted murder. He should be behind bars. The great Kali, whether or not he was he was if he knew that was going to happen or anything, that makes him an accessory. Correct. So either way you look at it, it you're, they're going to be serving time. Simple as that. Well, and I, I think that's all dependent on all dependent on if Kali was in cahoots with this guy and if Kali hired this guy. If, like I said, if he was hired by the television network or a third party to protect Kali, what happens if he was hired by the WWE to protect Kali? Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, when more details emerge, we'll bring it to you. But former World's Heavyweight Champion, Great Kali, was involved with the shooting. Uh, like JC said, uh, Austin Kong, who her real name is Kia Stevens, has lost the rights of using Awesome slash Amazing Kong. TNA now holds the copyright to her name. Uh, Sonny is a possible pick for the Hall of Fame. And we're up to 25 superstars for this year's Royal Rumble. And one last piece of information in closing. The number 40 guy is now going to be, you know, remember how 30 was always yeah. the paramount spot. That was where you wanted to be. Now number 40. So I'm really interested how they're going to come about. Is there going to be an actual designated number 40 this year? Or is it just going to be by random chance? But for also, also, before we oh, get out, sure, sure. There, is a, uh, there is a little uh, talk on the net right now that Batista might be scheduled to return after he's done filming yes. the movie. When, uh, that, uh, when that is, we do not know wh or what the name of the movie or what the movie's going to be about. We do not know. But if it's anything like his last movie he did called The Wrong uh, Side of Town, I, ex I urge you not to check that out. 
even though RVD was in it, and RVD had, you know, it was a very badly uh, filmed movie. He said, I urge you not to check it out. Don't check it out. If you see it, steer away from it. The movie was horrible, <laughs> cheesy acting. I never saw it, so I can't honestly give an opinion, but JT's acting. just freaking hilarious over here. I mean, Goldberg did a better acting job in the Universal Soldier. Dude, that was an return. awesome movie. Universal Soldier 2, The Return. That was a freaking... Did a I better mean, job. John Claude Kevin Van Nash. Dan. Kevin Nash played a better Super Strider in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 than Batista did acting in that movie. The best part of that movie, hands down, was probably when Ja Rule got introduced into the movie and about five minutes later, bang, shot in the head. I mean, I'm not saying, because, I'm not saying that, but... Now, the funniest part about Ja Rule in the movie is probably Fast and Furious. No! Monica! <laughs> but I urge you not to check out the wrong side of town. Even if you are an RVD fan, please don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. The movie is poorly done. I've seen some low-budget movies that were better than that crap. Uh, if you want to check out a really good movie, check out Death Race 2. It's a prequel to the first one. Uh, how they started, it was like a, a fight to the death, fight brawl match, uh, kind of like with the concept that they used for the pressure plates for armor, weapons, and stuff like that. But then they kind of uh, the, the, um, basically evolved it into racing. And then you see how the whole Frankenstein character comes about and how Jason and everything like that. So it kind of leads the it kind of leads into the events of the second one. So check that out if you want to see a really good movie. Again, we are F and True Wrestling, and you, you already know that. The Rated R Situation Styles. Primetime Brian Crazy. And you, you have a great night. See you later. Okay.